Irfan is not limited to praying and supplications. A spiritual mentor would tell us, when you're beseeching your Lord in the middle of the night, or when you're at the market talking to an illiterate backward customer, you must be the same person in all instances. If you deceive your simple-minded customer in the least bit, then you've committed a crime. It's wrong to trick and deceive others. Never assume that irfan or mysticism is limited to your praying mat and nightly supplications. Rather, mysticism is how you act in the marketplace, how you act at the university, how you act in the middle of the street, how you act on the bus, how you act with your spouse and children, how you act with your neighbors, how you act with your guard dog, how you act with your pet cat. All of these are interactions that are included in the realm of Irfan. But what does it mean? It means you must uphold the rights of your spouse. You must uphold the rights of your pets, right? One must not speak harshly with a servant. And if the servant has sat down to eat, one must sit down to eat with them. One is not allowed to save the better food for themselves. Rather, they must eat the same food as their servant and must not look at those under their employment as subordinates, even if they are servants. Allah has chosen this path for that servant for their growth. But how can we know in reality whether that servant is not a better person than we are? How can we know if their heart isn't purer than ours, and that they don't have a better understanding of the truth than we do? At the end of the day, each person has their own relationship with their Lord. Even though Allah has created us with different colors, some richer than others, and some the master of others, we must live our lives the way Imam al-Ridha, peace be upon him, lived. He would gather all his servants and eat with them at the same table, and enjoy doing so. This is the real meaning of mysticism.